Good morning, good morning, good morning. Soaring to New Heights family, it's Angela here. And this morning is the 8th of February. It's the 8th of February, 2021. Yes. So, this, for this couple days, for these couple days, I will be doing prayers for men yes i asked the lord what it is that i must do where the channel is concerned what's the next thing on the agenda and you know he placed it in my heart and i got up yesterday morning just just hearing it in my spirit that this is what i must do at this time so I just want to thank everyone that, you know, is supporting the channel. I want to thank you. I want to thank God for you. As you go on this journey with me, I really don't know what the journey entails and, you know, what God is going to do as we go forward. I just know that and the words that normally come on the channel they are always words that really inspired me like the holy spirit just really dropped that word in my spirit you know to to encourage me on my journey to you know so even as i have gotten pray for men you know pray for men for the next couple of days and we it is now i am up from three o'clock I know that the video will not go out until, you know, like maybe most persons will not get it today. Most persons will not get it until late in the day or so on and so forth. I want to thank God for the new subscriber or, you know, and that the Lord will continue to just pour out and bless each and every one of us. You know, I am just going to do a word of prayer right now um before i do the word of prayer though because it's really prayer for men for men i just want to involve it's this is gonna be a little bit shaky because you know um i'm just gonna video the corner that i normally sit in because i'm not feeling it in my spirit that i'm supposed to be in the video so i'm just gonna allow I'm just going to move according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. So the scripture that I'll be reading this morning, it is coming from Hebrews and it's coming from Hebrews 12 and it says, no, Hebrew 4, Hebrews 4 and verse 12 and it thus read, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing evil even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the points and of the joints sorry and and morrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so you see you know that's the the word that the lord want me to start with even and i believe one of the reasons why the lord has brought me to this topic of praying for our meal you know all my life i have had issues where meals are concerned you know um i find them even I see issues with not having a father growing up. I see issues um, having relationships and, you know, they don't normally work out. I, I'm talking about before I gave my life to the Lord, <laughs> okay? I'm talking about um, before I gave my life to the Lord. And, you know, you would have seen it even spilling over in me giving my life to the lord and it's like there's always something wrong like you know you get broken hearted 
even in in that point so i it's not surprising that the lord would would have given me this mandate of you know this task upon me to actually get it done you know praying for our, our meals because it has always been a sore point for me even the relationships with my siblings as in brothers you know it has always been estranged and you know i know that the lord will show me at some point that i will have a good relationship you know when i get married because i'm believing the lord to get married so i'm believing that when i do get married my husband and i will have a good relationship you know because it it has always been a desire for me to really have that connection with a male or even with my father so i i believe over the years connecting with the heavenly father and just really just sitting in his presence you know i believe it 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 now work out in 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 these few years in 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 the sense of you know you have built a relationship with the heavenly father and so even as you have had these bad experience over the years with all the meals that you have come across you know i am going to do a new thing because you you have built it with me with i god with i god you know and even as the first scripture is saying for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword i just want to believe that in praying in the next couple of days i really don't know how many days um the lord would want me to pray you know for our meals you know I really don't know but I know that his grace is sufficient for us and in our weaknesses strength make perfect and I believe in these few days you know I'll see some form of change where it is concerned where my relationship this kind of relationship that I have and the experience that I've had that I've had with male will flip and turn you know so yeah so all of those bad experience over the years i'm really hoping that it will change and guys it's like to do this video there was a point when i just get so nervous like no don't do it don't do it and i'm really pressing because you know the mandate is to get up three o'clock every morning to accomplish this and i just want to thank god for all the persons that really tune in to the channel and watch the video to the end blessings upon you in abundance god bless you guys peace and love yes so i'm just gonna move into prayer father we give you thanks this morning we bless your holy name for your awesome presence in our life we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you, O oh God, for your hands that is not short and your ears that is not heavy. Father, you have given me this task to pray, to pray for male, to pray for the men. You know, some of them are in leadership leadership. Um, positions some of them you know they're leaders in the church the government system mighty god we bless your holy name some of them that you know because of their experience when they were small they became gunmen you know and so father god some of them they are there they have lost their job at this, at this time and they can't take care of their their families and so god we just want to pray for them right now some of them are husbands that their wives have left them and for whatever reason and we just want to lift them up this morning god they are in all kinds of situation they're in many they're in many directions many places mighty god they're they're dislodged 
They don't know which way to, some of them don't know which way to turn. And so God, we just want to pray for the mighty God. And even as we have seen that issue with, with that situation, with, with those meal that set up to kill that lady in the church, mighty God, this is a heart that these are hearts, male men. These are hearts that can turn. These are hearts that can be, that can be, um, rehabilitated mighty God and so father we pray we pray for these males that became gunmen because of certain circumstances because because they have grown up a particular way and see a particular life and so God we just want to pray for them this morning want to pray for the husbands that are lacking in their in their position to stand as the head of the family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Rabba Kotori in the name of Jesus mighty God you have called some of them to stand as leaders in the church and they are lacking in their position mighty God because you have chosen them mighty God and circumstances is pushing them to act in a particular way that is not in the, in the way that you have called them to act and so God we pray for them this morning we we pray that God you will lift them up. We pray that God you will strengthen them. We pray that God you will you will be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. And even as the word mighty God speak of that the word is like a two-edged sword, mighty God. Quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. God, I speak life over the male this morning. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak life from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Father God Almighty, some of them are sitting in Lodi Bar in the name of Jesus. They are crippled, spiritually crippled in the name of Jesus. Some of them are bind up mighty God because even from they were small God, words have been spoken over their life. That they are no good and they will come out to nothing. And so God, this morning, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and those that person that will come in contact with this video mighty God that is having a back pain I pray in the name of Jesus that father God you will touch mighty God I pray for that person right now I pray God that you will touch the back of that person right now in the name of Jesus Jesus and bring healing to that person right now in the name of Jesus. Saturate that person from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet or even a lady mighty God just bless and cover right now in the name of Jesus. God we thank you for a new thing on the 8th of February over the lives of our male in the name of Jesus. You know, God, they, they, I, I call them for to stand as a father that they ought to stand as almighty God. I call them for this morning in the name of Jesus to stand as the leaders in the church that they are called to stand as. I call them for it, oh God, to be the brothers that they have called to stand as. I call them for it right now in the name of Jesus that Father God Almighty, you will turn the tide over their lives this morning. God, we thank you. We thank you that God, when I making this intercession, mighty God, the flesh cannot accomplish anything. I can only make the intercession believing that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that Father God, turning will come, shifting will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lobo Shata, Rebecca Tori, Rabakondo, Robo Shanda Makatiwita, in the name of Jesus. May you make and shift on the behalf of our males, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I just want to thank God for every male. You know, I have this channel and I believe I have about 15 males on the channel. And so I just want to, I, I, I know that many persons have not tuned in on the channel, but I really hope that God will send 
the males to listen in the next few days for these priors you know sound mind love and power over the minds of our males because they are called to be the head they are called the lord god almighty have ordained them to be the head and so i pray deliverance and healing over their minds in the mighty name of jesus see feel and seal the vision the vision that God has given unto you and even the vision of praying for these meal. I pray that everybody that comes in contact, everyone that comes in contact with this video, that you will share it. You know, it's about, it's about really praying for these meal. And, you know, the word of God is quick and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Just speak the words over your boys. Speak the words over your husbands and believe God for the change and for the shifting. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Soaring to New Heights with Angela. Bless up. Jesus loves you with an everlasting love.